This is Swift Drift, an assistive breathing device to reduce the severity, duration, and frequency of panic attacks. Swift Drift is designed for portable and discreet panic attack relief. The handheld device works on a physical and psychological level by providing the user with a focus object and a focus activity. During a panic attack, Swift Drift encourages correct breathing with soft vibrations. The device also incorporates a worry stone thumb groove for additional tactile feedback and calming. Swift Drift provides a quick and easy way to help your mind and anxiety drift away. To understand the importance of this device for those who experience panic attacks, For some, that situation is a reality. Panic attacks can be unexpected, embarrassing, and intense. People have described them as feeling like they're suffocating. It feels as if the brain is shutting down and going into overdrive at the same time. Panic attacks can feel as intense as a heart attack. And now imagine that these are your only options for relief. The paper bag, a traditional remedy for panic attacks, is an embarrassing to use placebo. While BCOM is slightly more discreet than a paper bag, it is simply a carbon dioxide filter that is not widely supported. Aereo is subtle, but it does nothing to relieve panic attacks. It just monitors them. It also relies on phone usage, which is often a trigger. Comigo is far too stimulating. It overwhelms users in their panicked state because it rattles, violently vibrates, has blinking lights, and incorporates scents all at once. In addition, none of these devices account for or assist with hyperventilation. The effectiveness of the relief option is directly related to the amount of features and technology it incorporates. While these relief options are simple and straightforward, they lack scientific backing and technology, making them too simple to be effective. On the other hand, these relief options incorporate so many features and technology that they become overwhelming to someone experiencing a panic attack. The critical area of opportunity is a solution that incorporates enough features and technology to be very effective without being overwhelming. Swift Drift utilizes the right balance of technology and an uncomplicated interaction to effectively calm users in their time of panic. The device is portable and discreet, so it can be used anywhere at any time. It was developed with the support of medical professionals and offers a drug-free calming. This is how it works. When you feel a panic attack coming on, you start breathing through the device. You take a full breath in, and then your breath out is funneled, which makes you exhale longer. You feel soft vibrations, which are controlled by your exhale. The longer you breathe out, the longer you feel the calming vibrations. This lengthening of your breath activates your body's neurological calming response. You continue breathing through the device, focusing on the vibrations you feel and trying to elongate them. Focusing on this physical manifestation of your breath helps distract you from a racing mind. After repetitions, your breathing will return to normal. In developing this product, creating a network in our area of study was critical. Their insights helped formulate our design criteria and influence our design choices. We assembled a network of medical professionals to help us understand the psychology and physiology of panic attacks, as well as key areas to focus on. We also assembled a network of individuals who experience panic attacks to gain personal insights. This network includes NAMI, the National Alliance on Mental Illness, Philadelphia chapter. We've been able to attend support groups and receive feedback on our design from their members. To create a device to mitigate panic attacks, our network informed our decision to focus on a breathing device. Irregular breathing is common during panic attacks, and breathing properly is a key component to recovering from an attack. After learning about the science behind and the experience of a panic attack, we knew our device had to successfully fulfill three main criteria. Provide a psychological focus object and activity, be portable and discreet for public usage, and lengthen the user's exhale and account for hyperventilation. We also made the decision that our device should not require phone usage. Many people who experience panic attacks feel that phones induce anxiety and stress. Our first criteria was that the object must provide a focus object and activity. During a panic attack, it's critical for a person to have a physical focus object to help ground them, as well as a focus activity to distract their mind from the fact that they are panicking. Paper bags are not the most effective solution, but they do effectively show a physical manifestation of the user's breathing. We created a focus object that gives a more discreet physical manifestation of your breath. Swift Drift is able to provide a focus object and activity through soft vibrations that encourage proper breathing. 
The device also includes a worry stone thumb groove. We began our process by exploring how we could use tactile feedback to represent the user's breath. After iterating, it became clear that vibrations could be best manipulated to create subtle differences that could be soothing as well as communicative. From there, we began prototyping with electronics. We created models that tested vibrations and others that tested our ability to detect breathing. By manipulating the intensity and duration of vibrations, we created soothing tactile feedback. Members of NAMI gave us feedback throughout our process and supported our final vibration technique. The breathing detection proved that we could control the vibrations by the user's breath. Once we figured out the mechanics, we combined them into a fully functioning prototype. Our second criteria was to make the device portable and discreet. Panic attacks can happen anywhere in any situation. This means it's extremely important to have the device be portable so it can travel with the user and be accessible at all times. Also, the device must be discreet so that it can be used in public without fear of drawing attention. We began to iterate different forms the device could take with the intention of the device fitting discreetly into the palm of the user. Once we began to narrow in on a form, it also became critical to test what size was most comfortable for a majority of people. We created three different sized forms to test with members of NAMI, being sure to collect feedback from members of all sizes. The middle size was chosen almost unanimously. To keep the device clean while in bags, purses, or pockets, a form-fitting hard plastic cap covers the mouthpiece. The cap is secure for transport, yet easy to remove during a moment of panic. The cap also has a worry stone thumb groove, so the worry stone can be used without removing the cap. Our third criteria was to regulate breathing by lengthening the user's exhale and by accounting for hyperventilation. A long exhale activates a calming response in the brain through the parasympathetic nervous system. Also, deep breathing lowers cortisol and stress levels. During a panic attack, it is very difficult to breathe correctly, so our device must encourage a longer exhale while accounting for the hyperventilation that commonly occurs when a person experiences a panic attack. We know that lengthening the exhale and treating hyperventilation effectively treats the panic attack. To lengthen the exhale while accounting for hyperventilation, we began prototyping with valves. We tested and modified existing valves and designed some of our own. Valves with silicone flaps became our most promising direction to allow for different airflows depending on whether the user was inhaling or exhaling. Our iteration led to a dual flow silicone valve that is a modification of an umbrella valve. It works by easily lifting up to reveal additional airways during inhale. This allows the user to get a full breath of air. It is critical that their inhale is unrestricted during hyperventilation since people already feel as though they cannot breathe enough air in. When the user goes to exhale, the silicone returns to its resting state, which blocks the additional airways. This restricts how quickly the user can get air out of the device, which lengthens the exhale. Through iteration and prototyping each of our design criteria, we were able to combine them into a fully functioning prototype. This allowed us to test our entire solution with individuals who experience panic attacks to receive further feedback. By testing our fully functional prototype, it became clear that our device required two modes to be most effective. The experience of a panic attack varies from person to person, so two modes could better serve the needs of different people in different situations. Different modes are activated with the sliding switch on the back of the device. Panic attack mode is activated by sliding the switch to the opposite end. In panic attack mode, the user breathes through the device and the device's vibrations are controlled by the user's breathing. The user tries to lengthen their exhale to lengthen the vibrations they feel without worrying about trying to match their breathing to a set pattern. This is an important consideration for those who hyperventilate. The device detects their breathing and adjusts the vibrations accordingly. For mindfulness mode, the slider is set to the middle. The dot represents the fading vibrations felt in the mindfulness mode. This mode uses a timed vibration cycle, and the user tries to match their breathing to the vibrations. Exhaling for the duration of the vibration encourages deeper, more regulated breathing. Mindfulness mode allows the user to breathe through the device or simply keep the device in their hand. Mindfulness mode can be used throughout the day as a preventative exercise to stay calm. If the user starts to feel anxious, taking deep breaths can help calm them. This means usage can help to prevent anxiety from turning into panic attacks. The concept of using this device preventatively when not having panic attacks was supported by our network, noting that regular usage will ultimately teach better breathing habits and reduce anxiety long term.
While both panic attack mode and mindfulness mode require the device to be turned on, the device will still lengthen the user's exhale and serve as a focus object even if the device were to be used in the off state or without a charge. The device will not vibrate, but it will still provide a physical and psychological calming using the valve and worry stone aspects. Swift Drift is equipped with micro USB charging capabilities through a port on the back of the device. To remove the mouthpiece and valve for cleaning, pinch at the indicator on the back of the device, hinge the piece forward, and remove. The mouthpiece, base, and valve can then be soaked in soap and water. This uses a snap and hook system on both the mouthpiece and bottom valve. This allows the pieces to be easily removed for cleaning while adding durability so the components won't come apart during transportation. This section view shows how the device is split into a front and back half with all of the electronic components in the back half. As the user exhales through the device, the pressure sensor is able to detect their breathing while the rest of the electronics are protected by the channel that is created to direct the airflow down through the valve at the bottom. The internal components include a vibration motor, circuit board, pressure sensor, and battery. The external casework is injection molded ABS plastic. The electronic components are confined to the back half of the device. The front of the device is created with two injection molded parts that are then ultrasonically welded together to create the airflow channel. Once the device is assembled, a silicone sleeve is used to conceal the parting lines and screw bosses that can be used to disassemble the device. The silicone sleeve also provides an opportunity for personalization with different colors to suit different users. Panic attacks can be terrifying and unpredictable, but Swift Drift provides a quick and easy way to help your anxiety drift away. Thank you for watching, and a special thank you to everyone who made this project possible.